In this video, we'll be reviewing the characteristics of the normal distribution curve. And there are several important characteristics that we need to think about when we're talking about a normal distribution. The first of these characteristics is that the mean, the median, and the mode, which are all our measures of central tendency, are all equal. The mean, median, and mode for a normal distribution are all equal to one another. And we label that point at the center of our normal distribution curve. And this would represent the mean, the median, and the mode, and we call it mu. Now, the normal distribution curve is then divided up into parts based on the standard deviation. The first line out from the center on each side represents one standard deviation out, which we represent using sigma. The second line represents two standard deviations out. And the third line represents three standard deviations out. And there are certain percentages of our data that fall within each range of standard deviations. It's also important to remember that for a normal distribution, 50% of my data will lie to the right of the average, or the mean, which we call mu, and 50% will lie to the left. Now within my divisions that I have set up here that follow from the standard deviation, I've got certain percentages of data that fall within each block. So if I go one standard deviation below the mean and one standard deviation above, I should have 34% of my data that lies one standard deviation below. I should have 34% that lies one standard deviation above. If I move out as far as two standard deviations, so between one and two standard deviations, I should have 13.5% of my data lie here, and I should also have the same amount lie here. Then between two and three standard deviations, I have 2.35% of my data that will lie here, and 2.35% that will lie here. If we add this up from three standard deviations below, three standard deviations above, I'll notice I have 99.7% of all my data, which leaves 0.15%, that's three standard deviations above, and 0.15%, that's three standard deviations below, for a total of 100%, 50 line above, 50 line below. Within our intervals then, so within one standard deviation above and below, I should be looking at 68% of my data. And if I look two standard deviations, I should be dealing with 95% of my data. And as I move out, that number should increase until eventually, if I'm outside three standard deviations, I should be talking about 100% of my data. We can then use this information in this diagram to do calculations in word problems and other situations.